What you probably don't know is I invented YouTube. We are halfway through this challenge of my sister of making myself and you suffer through. We're on episode 15, which means we have 15 more to go, which means we are gonna celebrate. How are we gonna celebrate? I'm bringing back an old show that I did 10 years ago. Yes, I've been on YouTube for 10 years and I'm bringing it back called Two Minutes with a Knife. So if you've ever watched anything on YouTube that's two minutes with a taco, let's say, I invented that. It's true, it's true. Here's a link right here. It's true, I invented it. So, applause is not necessary, but I appreciate it either way. So I'm bringing back that old show, Two Minutes with a Knife, not because I'm running out of material, I certainly have plenty of material, so we're only going to do a couple, maybe 15 of them to finish up this, this 30 day challenge. And we're going to use special magic to get us there because I built a special studio just for this purpose. So are you ready? Are you ready? When I snap my fingers, we are going to be in the new studio. We're going to use that magic. That's the special powers that I have. Are you ready? All right. Well, that didn't work. So are you ready? Oh, for God's sakes, this isn't it. Let me try again. Oh, seriously? Oh, it's always tough to do that. So, welcome to Two Minutes with a Knife. Here are the rules of engagement. I push that button. I have two minutes to talk about a knife that I have used and am familiar with. Or I have sharpened and it's been in the trailer a million times. So, I off the cuff... I just see it from my point of view, period. If you're not happy with that, I don't know what to tell you. But I do know quite a bit about knives, and this might help some people out on whether they want to purchase a knife or not. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the new Mizzen knife. Why is it new? First of all, it's got new packaging, which I really like. Um, makes it easier to get out, and that's a big help for me, by the way. Uh, it also has a wider blade, which I also very much like and appreciate. Gives me more knuckle room. I've got very big hands. Um, it's also the old Mizzen knife, which is a great knife and everyone loves, uh, was Aus 8. This knife is Aus 10, which, by the way, is a harder, better steel than Aus 8. Uh, the edge is going to last longer. I've been using this for two weeks now, nonstop, and I have not worn down the edge yet. It is sharp as heck. Surprisingly, it comes out of the box from the factory sharp, which as we all know is a rarity nowadays. So I'm putting this on the Rockwell scale, probably 59, 61 in that range. It is really hard. I put it up against a Shunkaji the other day and I couldn't tell a difference at all. Now the Shunkaji um, was sharp. I had sharpened it and was very sharp this was out of the box sharp i hadn't done anything to it and i couldn't tell a difference at all there is one thing i don't like about this knife and we're going to talk about that right now the pinch grip which is phenomenal and it's made into the knife which is always great however it is very sharp right here so it gets a little annoying after a while but once again this knife is 65 dollars for 65 dollars I can grab a piece of sandpaper and sand that down so it doesn't affect my cutting abilities at all. I don't see any reason not to own this knife no matter what collection you have. I've got extraordinarily amount of high-end knives and this knife fits in perfectly with all of them. With the new packaging, with the new steel, with the new design of the knife, I don't think you can get any better. I know putting it up against a Shunkaji is ridiculous. Shunkajis are $225. The Mizzen is $65. If you think I'm kidding around about it, here's the footage for it right now. I'm telling you out of the box, this knife is as good as any knife there is. And for $65, that literally blows my mind. I can't, I, it's hard to even fathom. 
I mean, I love a Wusthof Icon Classic. I, I just think that's such a special knife. This has a lot to do, a lot of the design qualities of that knife, but frankly, I think it's using better steel. And I don't like saying that because I really like Wusthof Icon Classics. But this Mizzen is spectacular and it's $60 less than the Wusthof. I'm telling you, this is a great knife. You should seriously be buying this knife. Better.